Hey folks, Technivers here. Today we're going to be taking a look at another of the free slicers. And you're going to be very, very familiar with this already. This is the free slicer that is available from Kodak on their website and for their 3D printers. So you can use this for any other uh, FFF machine. I'll show you how to set it up, but you should probably already be familiar with it. And I'll show you why. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kodak has a slicer? Well, yeah, they do. I mean, this is their logo right here, you can see, up in the corner, as well as on my start menu down here. But if you take a closer look, you'll see that no, no, they really don't have a slicer. This is all eerily familiar. So let's take a look at the icons in particular. Do you recognize some of those? Uh, how about if we open up some of the settings and take a little bit closer look? Not just that, but this bar being here on the right side is very indicative of some other software you've probably seen before. Let's go ahead and check out some of these other options. Okay, they do have a couple settings up here that aren't in the normal software, but there it is right there. If you go to the preferences and click right here, you'll see it says configure Cura. Now, I know you can't see the top of this menu here. Like I said, that is just the, uh, the preferences button that you're missing there. Let's go ahead and check out about because this is... Kodak version 3.6.6, .6, otherwise known as Kira version 3.6.6. .6. So a little bit of an older version, but it is pretty stable. It works really well with Kodak stuff. And as you can see, all of the features that are heavily used since 3.4, 3.5 are in here, um, such as tree support and things like that. So this is basically just another skin, just like that Creelty slicer that we talked about. Let's go ahead and import a model here and take a look. And here we have a simple chess piece. This is a knight. And as you can see, once again, it looks very, very familiar. Same basic Kira overlay. It has the Kira overhang notice there that you're gonna need support in those red areas and a lot of those other options. So what I was curious about is up here in the extensions, there is a Kodak update checker, which will check for updates. Now I just downloaded this so I know it's the latest version of their software. And if you click it, it does not give you an option to upgrade to Kira 4.5 or 4.6. So uh, they do have apparently their own branch here. Let's see what else is in here. Some post-processing stuff. I'm going to pop into their marketplace real quick and see what they have for extensions. And here it is, their marketplace. So you can see that they have a couple of featured products, the Inventor Integration. Uh, mesh tools and Siemens integration. Uh, taking a look down here, they do not have a thingy browser plugin like Kira does, but there are several of the other plugins. I think these are the plugins from the older version before Kira updated to 4.4. So quite a bit of things in here. I think a couple of these are, well, no, it looks like they're, they're all extensions that were available before. And I have added an extension. Once you add an extension, you're gonna to have to reload Kira. So I did close it and open it back up. And this is the mesh tool. So here you can do a couple of things. Oops, obviously I need to select the model. And it's saying down here it is watertight. That's good, let's see what else we can do. Fixing the normals doesn't seem to have done much. It was a pretty simple model, so not much. And it says it could not be split into sub meshes, which is interesting. So um, yeah, this is basically just a quick look at the Kodak slicer. There is a handy pop-up when you turn it on for the first time, it pops up. It does say that it's derived from Kira and give you some documentation about that. Uh, and there's also some online documentation as well. So um, that is going to be here and you can see Kodak slicer. Let's see, getting started. Um, and this gives you pretty much the basics of how to run through all of this and what to do and how to slice everything. So it's basically, this is exactly like Kira. I don't think at this point they have any options that aren't available in Kira just yet. Um, but they do have some branch developments going on down here that you can find and check out if you're interested in seeing what they have going on. So there's also some uh, uh, pages on here about dual printing right here, dual materials, dual material models. 
and there are some downloadable printing profiles just for the Kodak slicer. So all in all, pretty cool, very well polished. They are a little behind Kira on updates, but I think that is because it's Kodak. You expect their products to be extremely polished. So uh, I'm not sure how often they update. We'll check back if I see another update because I'm curious to see if this branch is going to draw from Kira's latest updates or if it is completely off on its own, like a Prusa slicer sort of arrangement. So there you have it, another quick delve into a free slicer. This one again, obviously being a reskin version or branch off of Kira. Now this one is a lot more polished and newer than the skinned version we saw from the latest version of the Creality Slicer. So definitely worth giving it a look if you want something that is very much like Kira, but stable and updated less frequently in order to maintain that stability. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can get notified every time we put up a new video. I do review a lot of slicers as well as filaments, 3D printers, and other techie things. So stick around if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.